Well, thank you both of you for joining us here in London. That's a nice wow. way to start a Saturday afternoon, isn't it? It sure is. A room full of people screaming and cheering. <laughs> Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. <laughs> All right, go. Firefly had that was brought all these people here to see you today. What, what's that appeal, do you think, that the audience love? Adam Baldwin. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> well, I, 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 we've talked about this over the years because yeah. we didn't expect to, we really didn't, uh, couldn't picture how this would turn out and that we'd still be getting together and celebrating this show that that um, was so love. brief. But I think, I think maybe part of the magic is that it, it, uh, it was brief and yet so powerful. <laughs> <laughs> it lasts forever. What? She said, no, it's not. <laughs> I think um. it was a special, it was a very, very special story with the perfect combination of characters. And um, uh, I think that no matter who you are, you can somehow relate and find yourself in the story. And mm. um, I don't know. I I uh, never seen anything quite like it, and never could have pictured <laughs> that we'd be here today with talking about yeah. it. Yeah. 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 And I think I mean we all talk about it, and it sounds like a cliche, but I think the cast was really. I mean, we it, it, we're we're like family now, but I think back then it was really sort of instantaneous, and I think that sort of um, kind of organic chemistry was something that made our jobs effortless and fun and delightful, and I think that couldn't help but be projected. Um, and I do think, I will second the whole, like having it be snatched away, I think we all sort of felt just slighted somehow, and so we just, <laughs> You know, keep coming back and talk about it and celebrate it because it was um, lovely. And then they, they snatched it away, and then fans went crazy. And lo and behold, you end up with a movie. Yeah. When you first, how did you first find that out? What was your reaction? I didn't think it was going to happen. I mean, I was, I've talked about this so many times. We actually were, we were together at Joss's house, and Joss was cooking us dinner. Or I was like, I was a crazy eater back then, and I wasn't. E he was cooking me a special piece of fish, right? <laughs> Which is, I was so annoying. Um, <laughs> but he said he was leaving f for, you know, to go to Cape Cod to write the script, and I was like, "What? Like, is it this actually happening?" I mean, they had talked about finding another life for it, but I, I think at that point I was jaded because that was my third canceled series with Fox. Oh no, my fourth canceled series with Fox. <laughs> yes, four. Um, so I just thought, oh, everyone thinks there's going to be a life outside the show, and it just never happens. It's very, it's a, it's a lovely sentiment, and you know, um, but yeah, he had told us that it was happening, and he was off to write the script, and and I still didn't believe him um, until the table read. I, for me, it was the table read. Like even when my agent called with the offer, and um, I still was like, this isn't really happening. Um, but it was at the table read um, that we just sort of sat there and started, you know, reading these words of these characters who I had missed so much and they're being spoken by these people that I loved so much and so that moment for me was kind of when I knew it was happening. And so, well, how, the characters in that movie, I mean, it was sent, the plot kind of, you had a large chunk of that time in, the, in that movie, it was about your two characters. When you first became aware of that, were you kind of like, oh wow, this is gonna be quite a nice, juicy chunk of the story for us? Because in some, in some big TV movies, when they bring them back, it's kind of, they're trying to get a lot of the cast in every which way. But here, and it kind of stayed true to the series in that effect, they focused on your, on your characters a bit more. What was your reaction when you read that in the script and you kind of saw that? Well, 
Well, Summer had to train for six months. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe how many pages I was on. It was like I, I, couldn't, I couldn't believe how much uh, Joss was trusting me to... to um, uh, well, you know, he told me that, that he was going to make River, um, you know, a, a martial arts expert. And uh, I did train. I trained for, for quite a long time before we started shooting the, the film. So I, I got invested really early. Um, and it became my life. I, I, because Joss wanted me to do the, the the fight scenes myself. I had to really genuinely learn how how to uh, how to do martial arts from from nothing. So uh, in that way it really it did become my life and um, the film was not only just an, in, 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 it was incredible to be back home with mm. the family, but it was an incredible experience for me as a person because I really it really pushed me. It it pushed me to to do something that I never thought I could do and on certain days didn't want to do. Um, <laughs> and I'm I'm really really grateful for the experience on so many levels. So we're going to throw the uh, questions out to you, ladies and gentlemen. So the microphones that are there, so if you wish to queue behind them, then feel free. But while we wait for the old notes, one gentleman there just rushing to the front. <laughs> Question for you both. Do you have a current favourite science fiction series like Legion or Westworld? Or Stranger Things. <laughs> I'm enjoying Westworld quite a lot. I love it. It's beautiful. Uh, Stranger Things is on my, my queue. Oh, it's good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <clears throat> yep, I got this gentleman. <laughs> you can just shout. <laughs> 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 I don't know about now you do that. <laughs> Trying to kiss it. <laughs> uh, is there anything you'd want to do, particularly with Joss, if it was offered? If it was like a comic or a film you saw as a property and you would take it to Joss, is there anything you two would want to do with Joss specifically? I mean, kind of anything. Next to anything, yeah. <laughs> What? For next to anything, yeah. He, he Joss for years was trying to write a ballet, and we were going to do a, a short film ballet, and oh, uh, yeah. things kept coming up. But it was very, uh, it was. Uh, we we talked about him. He was going to compose the music and uh, the story, in and, and um, it, things just he kept he kept getting other jobs and wasn't able to focus on it, but. Um, maybe one day before I get hip replacements, we can do that. <laughs> or maybe after, it might be better, I don't know. Okay, so I'll go around with the gentleman then. I'd just first of all like to thank you both for your work on Firefly. I'm sure we all appreciate it, and that's why we're here and supporting you guys. Uh, my question's for Summer. Do you think uh, the Sarah Connor Chronicles will ever come back? And if so, how would you like to see them come back? <laughs> I'd like to just pick up where our cliffhanger left off. I was really <laughs> excited about that. <laughs> we, you know, we really anticipated coming back. We, we were talking about the next season and the, the story was going to be incredible. And, and um, it wasn't until the very last minute that they that they decided, um, they were deciding between two shows and, and we, were, we were on the unfortunate end of that. I was really, really devastated because that character was <laughs> such a gift for an actor and uh, I was very invested. I loved what Josh did with that series. He was a true fan of the original, knew it inside and out, and really created something that I, I thought worked well for television. And, and for my part, I was just captivated with, with the character and with my cast. So I would absolutely uh, jump at the chance to, 
to come back and and like I said I would just love to for us to pick up where Josh intended us to maybe Netflix original <laughs> yes thank you thank you another question for summer uh, what is your favorite <sighs> <laughs> You're just not as pretty, sorry, sir. <laughs> I'm, I'm always tempted to not let you ask a question for like that. <laughs> what is your favourite ballet? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, my favourite ballet. Oh, oh I want to know that. <laughs> Actually, uh, uh, Giselle. And it was funny because I never uh, danced it in real is. life. And then... Um, you know, Joss, let me dance it on national TV uh, without seeing me dance when he cast me. <laughs> so that was pretty daring um, and such a great memory for me. You know, and it, it, I was in a ballet company in South Texas and, the, you know, you have limited choices about what people will come to see and uh, long, full-length romantic ballets are not at the top of the list. So... Um, I never, I never danced it, and then I, I actually wasn't even at the original audition. I snuck into the callback after they had already done the dancing auditions because I, I didn't get in. <laughs> um, so I snuck in, and that's where I met Joss. I didn't know what he looked like, so I didn't know, I didn't know it was him. <laughs> <laughs> and I dressed in full, like ballet outfit like thinking I might have to dance, which now I know is not how you audition. Um, but I, 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 I read for him and, and afterwards he told me that he, he told the casting director as long as her, something like as long as her feet aren't cement, I'm going to let her do this role. And it turned out, you know, I was a far more qualified dancer than I was an actress. I never acted before. So, um, I, I, it was a very special memory, and I couldn't believe how much Joss let me dance. And he even added an extra shoot day. He really enjoyed ballet. I think he really enjoyed the, the, the process of shooting it. And he even added an extra day of dance so that he could shoot more of it. And um, it, was, it was just a, <laughs> a really, really special way to start, start your acting career <laughs> with Joss. Yeah. Okay, and we want this lady here. Hi, um, my question is based on the fact that we all love to relive, rewatching the series and anything about it. So, have you guys ever played the Firefly board game before? <laughs> the board game? Yeah, I, have I, have I have not. I have not. Once my daughter's old enough to not swallow the pieces, I know. Well, we'll that's. Get into I, it. I, and that is something. It's like. Right now, I think board games have to, for me and you, involve small children. <laughs> yes. Um, I actually was, um, yeah, I, I, oh, sorry. I don't, uh, I don't even think I understand the game. <laughs> Funny enough, I, I think I was given a little tutorial at a convention, and I was just like, yeah, great, thanks so much. And they walked away, I was like, what the? <laughs> yeah. Makes me a little bit sad, Sean, because I know that you have it. We bought it. I know. Yeah. No, I know. I know. Is that you guys? Hi again. Um, yeah. And it hasn't been. Uh, uh, it has not. It has not been played. Would be happy to explain it for you. Okay. <laughs> and we have a question on this side. I mean, they're all kind of assholes. <laughs> it's really miserable. I mean, yeah, of course. I mean, I would course. like to do it. A number of people, a lot of people don't know I was in it because <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was so brief, but I was in there. <laughs> I was in there. Um, I did a scene with Nathan and Joss, and it was awesome. But the best part uh, was just seeing Alan... Uh, directing and producing mm. and writing and starring in and doing it so effortlessly 
and really enjoying it. I remember Nathan saying to me, you know, that he was really, he, he, that it was coming so naturally to him and that he was really relaxed and really able to enjoy the process. And so I was honored to, to be involved. Yeah. I mean, I said yes without even reading it. I, <laughs> I, I, so answer, to answer your question, yes, yes, without reading it, yes. <laughs> there we go. Do you have a song? Is there any pink? Uh, hi, what? Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant like the no. crew, like yeah, the, the, the the camera <laughs> guys, which which I, we, we do. We still see which, them all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Different things. Uh, yeah. All of us keep in touch. I mean, pretty much. We try. It's. I mean, so a lot of us are parents now, and a lot of us live in different cities, and um, sometimes this is, you know, our chance to see our each other. Our best way yeah. to see each other. Um, but yeah, no, we all keep in touch. We all keep tabs on each other. And the next question is lady. Oh, yeah. Alphas was, was uh, so much fun. I had a great time with that cast, and it was the first time that I ever played a mother. So um, I, I enjoyed it tremendously, and I didn't want to leave. I, I ended up getting cast on something else, and so I wasn't able to go back onto the show. But I, that's another cast that I really keep in touch with. They're awesome. And... Um, as far as Firefly, um, it's pretty miserable. <laughs> as we said, very boring. Mm. It's a very. It was a very violent set. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the good things about it. Yeah. Everyone talks about the pranks. I'm like, what about the hitting? <laughs> the fire starting. Um, <laughs> the, no, it was. There it, was bullying <laughs> and name calling. <laughs> Body shaming. <laughs> body shaming. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about you, fatty. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did ask Joss if cryo made me look fat. <laughs> no, it was, I mean, listen, Firefly was one of those, like, lightning in a bottle. It was one of those situations. I feel very blessed. I think you as well. We've had wonderful professional experiences. You know, I can't think of a time where I've been like, ugh, I hate this job. Like, I've, I've been so grateful that every job has been lovely. Firefly was extraordinary and exceptional and very, very unique. Um, every detail about it. Oh, man. I wanted Simon and Kaylee to have babies. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's the most important thing. And I, so he, important. he said he would let me babysit, right? Yep, Auntie River. Yeah, Auntie River. <laughs> but they would need a chaperone. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely need, <laughs> need Jane's help or something. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it's rough out there in space. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We get asked this question often, and I always think I, I want to know what Joss wanted to happen because he was very secretive, always, even with it, just even the backstories of our characters because there, there was always the possibility that he would bring, bring the backstory into, you know, into new future episodes. So he was very secretive, and even now I really wonder. There were a few things that he told us after, you know, after, you know, what happened. <laughs> um, and it was so exciting mm. and made it even harder to say goodbye. So um, I, I loved, I mean, if, if, we, if it ever did come back, I'd love to see some of those storylines come up. And um, I always thought that River should have her own business, maybe, like, move out on her own, have her own little ship, and... And maybe get a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who 
who wants to date crazy? <laughs> Aww, it's, it's Aww. so nice to have a dream. <laughs> so cute. I have a question for this aptly dressed young man. Yeah. I was going to say, that literally just stole my question. Uh, last, <laughs> la- right at the last minute. But, um, yeah, so I was going to say, are you able to tell us any of the details of, of, of some of the stuff you picked up that might, might have happened? Can't you tell us you're going to make series two? When's that coming? <laughs> Someone had to ask. Oh my God, guys! I don't know if I was privy to many details. There were a few, but I wouldn't. I would not. I would not. I would definitely not, not. Uh, not share. Not mention them now, but yeah, there were a few. Uh, there, there, there were some. Uh, I mean, there was Anara's backstory, right? Yeah, Anara's and backstory books. and books. Backstory. And I heard a few things about um, about Wash as well that sounded really cool. Mm. But um, yeah, I can't. Uh, there are also some little. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there are some really wonderful, like you know, when Anara injects her, and. Uh, injects herself when you know the reavers are impending and she goes to you know put the syringe and i i think when i read it and when i saw it i obviously thought that she was going to kill herself because a death by reaver would be so much worse but she was actually injecting herself with a serum that if a reaver raped her the reaver would die which was this like crazy little detail that i never knew such a good show <laughs> I got a question from the young lady here. Hello, I was wondering, are there any particular moments which stand out from your time filming Firefly? I mean, so many, like scenes from scenes or like moments on well, set? Scenes, scenes, yeah. Oh. Well, my favorite scene in everything is in Serenity when she has her, she takes down all those reavers, like hands down, like that's like ballet to me. That's like it's beautiful, and uh, I think probably one of my favorite. Thank you. Moments. Thank you're, you. Yeah. You're welcome. Uh, I. Yes, that, that, one, that, that one is very important to me. I did it over and over and over again for months, and I remember, uh, I remember my training would last all day, and mm-hmm. I, I would have a section for my sword fighting because being a ballet dancer, I was long and really kind of gangly and, and flexible, and so they, they, they really worked that into the story, um, or not into the story, into the technique that, that I learned. But the, they created sort of a martial arts that would work for me based on what I, what I could offer. So um, I, I remember I would have the, the sword fighting section of the day in which they would, I would just go over and over the movements because they were trying to build up my strength. And I remember it would be really, really slow, like, like, like Gumby, you know, swinging a swinging the axe and then every day I would just keep repeating it and getting faster and getting faster and so looking at that scene just reminds me of how far you can come if you just keep keep uh, working at it and um, so that that would be one of my favorites as well and then and then the one that stands out the most for me in in Firefly was in objects in space during the dream sequence when I'm in the cargo bay all alone and the leaves the fall leaves are all over the the ground, and um, I'm alone. It, it it to me really represents how I felt about the whole experience because, for me, my my child is being so loud. <laughs> She's like, no, cut that out. She learned that from the Jetsons. I don't know why. My husband showed her the Jetsons, and <laughs> she loves it. But she learned cut that out. Um, <clears throat> anyway, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> Mila, behave, please. <laughs> no. But that, that scene just was like my life at that moment because I never, I, I never even auditioned for a series regular on a show, and, and the whole process was surreal. I, didn't, I just I never expected it to happen, and then there I was, and I'm working with Joss, that episode he, he directed, 
And that was the only episode where I, I worked every day. And I felt very, um, just like a real actor. And, and, and it's, it was just magical. So that would be my favorite. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. And this, this gentleman here. Uh, you both had a number of series be cancelled before their time, so to speak. Uh, if you could have any of your cancelled shows re revived, which ones would they be, and where do you think the story should go with them? I, besides Firefly? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, There's I mean, only one answer. <laughs> I mean, that's just a given, right? <laughs> um, do you want to go? That's a hard, that? hard choice for you, I'm sure. No. <laughs> you had some good ones. Oh! Wait, what? I don't get it. That went over my head. What happened? Somebody explain it. <laughs> well, not because you've had a number of them that. <laughs> it's definitely not because of that. Guys, help me out here. I've had lots of I meant because you've had so many good ones. <laughs> uh, For me, know. it would be Terminator. I yeah. loved Cameron. I, I was having so much fun with that role and just the... I, thank you. Yeah, I loved that role and I loved that cast. So that would be an, an easy one for me, but obviously Firefly. Um, I did a series called The Playboy Club, which... Um, <laughs> I loved it. It was, a period, it was a period piece. It was like all tits and ass, man. No, I was playing, um, a, uh, um, I was married to a Playboy bunny. We were each other's beards. We were both closeted uh, homosexuals in 1960s Chicago. Uh, and it was about the Mattachine Society, which was the first pre-Stonewall pro-homo homosexual movement so it was like, it was fascinating to me that there was like this this all this movement like um because we all know about stonewall we all know about like you know the you know the, the the sort of the gay movement then but there was all of this stuff happening that was very felt very cloak and dagger where people meeting in like basements at like 3am because you would you would be killed you would be tried as a communist and or killed um and so my character started that Mattachine society in the series and, it, and like that that was one of the, the subplots, and there was a lot of tits and ass over here. Um, but I really was fascinated by that, and I loved, again, we talk about, you know, it really ma makes it when you're, you know, the show can be, you know, kind of crappy, but if you're with the right people, it kind of makes it worth it. But it was a great show, and uh, the cast was pretty lovely, and the girl I played opposite with, I stayed quite close with. So, that would be it for me. Thank you. Thank you. Hi guys. Um, I think, like, with comics wise, because of course Joss and his brothers have continued with the stories of Firefly, and I think they've really captured your essence in that. So, anyone that hasn't read them, do. Um, as much as we would love it on the screen, you know, at least we have something where we can sort of feel you guys, your presence there. That's kind of what I say. Um, Sean, uh, would you ever consider doing more Shakespeare with Joss, Don John? Much to do about nothing. Loved it. Thank um, you. I'm a big Shakespeare fan anyway, but I thought that that particular adaptation was really, really well done and would love to see more. Um, so, yeah. And some are involved as well in a future one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what I'd, I would absolutely do, yeah, I would do. I was so scared, like terrified to do it um, the first time around, but it was one of the most exhilarating. I'd never done Shakespeare. Have you done Shakespeare? Yeah, no. I was so... <laughs> What's your favorite part about playing that role? <clears throat> um, well, I think just sort of it was such a unique experience in that we shot it, you know, we shot it in 12 days in his house. Uh, we had a lot of rehearsal time, but, you know, we had very little time to actually, you know, to, to shoot it. So, you know, he, he sat us down and said, you know, I've got... You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I know exactly what I want. I'm going to set up a couple of cameras here and there. You're going to have one shot maybe two takes like that's it so don't fuck it up basically so we all I think we you know we all went on our own and did so much of our own homework and then showed up to set like um, so I think my experience with that was you know being surrounded by you know people who I admired as you know friends and as actors show up with 
you know, 150%, which was extraordinary. And I think that the fear was sort of like stage fright for me. Like, I, it's like, oh, I don't even know what's going to happen. So it, it felt like walking out on stage and he kind of so caught that, you know? So yeah, that turns, I think that turns out really great. Performances. Yeah. So that was it. Like, I think what we watched in the final product was really just sort of live theater that he happened to catch on film. So, so I think just for that being sort of the experience that I had, you know, with the movie, that was very unique to that situation. I, I, I've, I've never been, and it was, again, it was sort of like, I, you know, we had that huge party scene and it was just like looking around his backyard and just hundreds of people who were all there just because he asked, you know, it was like, and Cirque du Soleil people, like these two Cirque du Soleil artists, like, you know, in the trees. And I was like, it's only Joss and Kai who could, you know, gather. They're just friends with Cirque du Soleil acrobats. Of course they are, you know. <laughs> come on, be in a movie. Great, they said yes. You know, <laughs> there they are. You know, so it was really a, a pretty remarkable experience. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And, um, because you've worked with such natural comedians like <clears throat> Alan and Nathan, what's your favorite funny moment that happened on the set fire point? There are so many. So many. Uh, I mean, my, I think my favorite, you've all probably seen. It's on, the, it's on a bloopers real it's uh during the message yes when we're all standing in a circle um and the camera's rotating 360 degrees and nathan keeps <laughs> ducking <laughs> under it and then st standing next to you know each you all know you all seen it right um it's it's genius and i'm i'm so mad at myself because i couldn't keep a straight like it would have been so no funny way. you know i have a really hard time not <laughs> giggling um and you know and he came up next to me I was trying so hard because because he did it during rehearsal um which was so funny we were all like you know wetting our pants we were laughing so hard and then of course in which speaks volumes as to what the set was like Joss was like we've got to go again and we've got to get that you know we've got to get Nathan doing that thing and so we was like really we're gonna go take another take and spend <laughs> the time this. to like get this funny joke on camera. And thank goodness he did. Yeah, oh my God. That was our last episode. So I was like, yeah. I was like, I'm going to be straight-faced and I'm going to do this. I'm going to be I'm going to be funny guy too. And then he comes over next to me and I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, Nathan is so good at that. Oh my God. I have so nervous good. laughter. Um, yeah, that, that was one of the best. Yeah, that that was, was... I'm really glad that we had that. Uh, all of us were there laughing together. Yeah. Being My mom was at our there. best. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hi. Um, thanks for coming today. Um, my question's for Summer. Sorry. <laughs> um, you said you did a lot of um, martial arts when you did the training for the film Serenity. Is there anything that really sticks out for you and like, any kind of forms in particular, or was it just kind of specific um, stuff, kind of just for the film? Well, what's what's what sticks out for me still is how much respect I have for martial artists and how difficult it is. You know, I was a ballet dancer. I worked all my life to to learn how to do it, and I had um, so I had confidence in that way. And I remember my my first day of martial arts <coughs> training. Joss took me with two of the producers for my first day, and it felt like you know. Summer's first day at martial arts. And they, they stayed and they watched me and Joss found the most incredible uh, stunt coordinator for us. I think he's the best, um, Chad Stahelski. Mm. And he kind of just watched me move, you know, and I, I kind of I kind of flapped around and did, my, you know, <coughs> did, my, did some moves. And then he, he, he and Joss discussed that he wanted, Joss really wanted it to to seem dangerous, like like a, a, a person my size could take out a room of of burly men. So Chad had his work cut out for him, and and it was my understanding from what I remember and what they told me that I did a combination of wushu, so hard, um, kung fu, and kickboxing. <clears throat> and so after my first day. Chad set me up with his favorite uh, teacher, <clears throat> who happened to teach in Alhambra, oh. which is 
it's, you don't really go there very often unless you live out that way, but it's East, East LA in the park in the summer, me and th- like 30, 12 year old Asian assassin boys. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay, yeah. And they're like, I can't believe they're letting this, this chick in the class. And, um, it was a very humble beginning, and it ended humble as well. I might as might as well tell you, um, but I, I worked really hard just to kind of fit in with them. Nobody wanted to be my partner, and like <laughs> it was, it was um, that was my that was the start. And so I did that for months, and then I started working out with the stunt team uh, all day, <clears throat> and. Um, I remember they kept inviting me to the Saturday class. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. I'm here all, all week. I'm not coming to the Saturday class where unless you throw up, you didn't, you didn't work hard enough. That was like, that was the, the standard. Um, and uh, I, I, I remember I finally got all, I, I got my fight scenes choreographed. I knew, I, knew, um, I knew them inside and out. And then the guys put on their reverb costumes and I couldn't recognize their faces so then I felt it, it, it was very disorienting I remember they'd have to say hey it's Danny all right it's Mark and so I wouldn't know which guy it was um but it was it was really a lot of fun and another cool little uh, detail is that since Joss wanted me to shoot the, shoot the fights from start to finish he didn't want to have to move the camera to make it look to make it look like it worked I actually got to make contact with all the guys. So, you know, I was supposed to lightly tap them, but I was an amateur, so <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> you know, I would hit them a little hard. But, um, yeah, I got to actually, I learned how to, all my kicks were actually making contact. All my punches were actually rolling off. So it was, um, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Um, What's your favorite thing about London? Oh, so much. <laughs> the parks. I, the, uh, food. the parks, the food. I've had the <clears throat> best, we both have had. We have, I want to stay. The best weeks here. It was fun, it was fun uh, doing it with, with our kids. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've been here a number of times, but yeah. this is... Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was it for me. This time was like, I saw it through the eyes of my children, and I was like, oh wow, there's that too, you know. It was, yeah. It's was. it been a magical week. My we went husband. to the Harry Potter tour. I know it's outside London, but that was fun. So fun. So fun. This is, you're so blessed to live here. I mean, this has got to be one of the greatest or greatest cities that there is. Yeah. Uh, you know, between being in the city, but also being able to enjoy such beautiful nature, right? right in the heart of the yeah. city. I, I wanted to have one day where we just sat with the ducks, and, but I was too greedy. There were too yeah. many things I wanted to do. I was like, Mila, get back in the stroller. We gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I just like to say, I really love Firefly, and I make all my friends watch it, like Force and Jane, and, and I actually use all my favorite characters from the show. And oh, you're just saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a good Dexter. Qu- Dexter. <laughs> <laughs> I, my answer to everything is Dexter. My dream role, Dexter. Show I wish was still continued, Dexter. Dexter. Mine would be Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman. <laughs> that's my favorite. That would totally work, that's guys. That's amazing. Uh, I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm going to leave that right there. That's amazing. That's what I thought, Mila. Thank you. Thank you. Last question on this side. Hi. Um, one, of the, one of my favorite relationships in the whole of Firefly is between River and Simon, because they're, so they're brother and sister and go for great lengths for each other, but also come across as actual brothers and sisters teasing each other. Um, like throwing up on Simon's bed and stuff like that, which I thought was really cute. 
Oh. He's so cute. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I'm such a lucky big brother. <laughs> um, never did that on my brother's bed. Um, but, so what was your favorite scenes that you did together as brother and sister? Oh. <sighs> well, not the first one. <laughs> that was really... <laughs> Oh, when you're in cry. Yes, yeah. yes. I had to wait the whole pilot to shoot that. We didn't shoot it until the very end, and I was so psyched up because that was my, 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 really my only scene. Um, but my favorite, I mean, there's so many. I just, I love all the quiet moments, all, all mm. of our... We had some really lovely, intimate stuff. Yeah, yeah. So no. sh get your yeah. head out of the sewer. <laughs> the sewer. But you know, I ha this I have told this story so many times. But I I remember during Serenity we were we were we were shooting and something happened and and um, we we decided to shoot the scene where you get shot. And from my perspective, I I didn't know we were shooting it. I wasn't prepared, and I you know I thought that I was I was I thought I was going to have more time to you know, really get myself mentally prepared for it. And we decided to rehearse it, which, you know, we, we, you, you're marking the spaces and making sure everybody knows their lines. But as soon as you fell down, I, um, I, it, felt like, I, it, it felt like I had gotten shot. I felt, mm -hmm. I, I felt so emotional. And um, <laughs> so we, 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 we got ready to shoot your close up and I still didn't know. I still didn't know the, the I, I had no sense of where the camera is or anything. I was just, um, I was just going on instinct. And um, I was crying so hard. And um, Joss came up to me and in his really gentle way of nurturing me, he said, um, that's really great. I love what you're doing, but can you cry a little more quietly because you're ruining Sean's close-up? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. Yes, you didn't know that. <laughs> I ruined his close-up. I was like, of course, that's, that's so me. Funny. But that 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 scene. But it just goes to sh show what an incredible actor uh, Sean is, and how oh. working with him just puts you in that. It just puts you there. I felt like I was really there. Oh. Yeah. Well, thanks. So. Um, that w that scene, though, when people ask, I, I've been I forget how they've like you know how did how did you guys do it? And that that comes up as like one of those moments where I feel like I didn't do any I, I didn't do anything in that scene. It's just sort of you know, and I remember like looking up and seeing everybody and sort of the the lines were blurred. It was like oh, there's summer, but it's river, but mm -hmm. it's kind of the same thing, and like. Marina's holding my abdomen and Jules over there and like it was just like mm -hmm. I didn't have to do anything it was just sort of you know to be in the company of such talented actors but I think in the beginning like all of our stuff that's some of like my favorite days like to just have the Simon River stuff because I really loved working together because I thought it was so effortless and it really reminded me of like why I love what I what I do, what I do. Can you, like, tell your daughter to pipe down? I'm, t <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking. <laughs> no, no respect. Anyway, I love Summer. I think she's a fantastic actress. And I loved every... Uh, no, Mamie, no, Mamie, It's Time to Wake Up, I think was my favorite, one of my favorite moments in the series. Yes. Yes. We had, I was so blessed to, for my, my first time, um, you know, really working with somebody to be with an actor that, it made it so effortless for me. Yeah, we could talk about that all day, I guess. We, we should move on. <laughs> Thank you. We have Thank time you. for one quick final question from this gentleman here. <clears throat> no pressure. Uh, for Jules, for a strange. Um, obviously, a lot of the other cast were in Buffy and Angel as well. Yeah. Did, did you ever? Um, you know, of course, but I also feel like I trust Joss enough that if I'm going to be thought of for something, and he thinks I'm right for something, he'll 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 go for it. Um, so I mean, of course, like I love those shows, and I love um. Uh, 
yeah, I love working with them. Like, so of course I would, would have loved to have done it, but um, I don't know. I just sort of, I trust that he's kind of got everything in place. So I don't, so I don't feel like, I don't know. I don't feel like I missed out, you know? Because then like Much Ado comes out of the blue and I'm like, oh, like I had no idea he would think of me for that. And they, then he did. But so, yeah, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me giving a massive round of applause for Mark Hannes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And there will be some more shots in your front area downstairs to do a photo of your audience. So if you could, as you leave, please leave by your right hand side. The doors on my right hand side here, which will be. Very much appreciated it and thank you. Up next we have Adventure Time in here and downstairs we'll have NCISLA in the Gold Theatre. But right now please leave by the right hand side.